What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Mr. B's Baseball Break. So today we have the finale video of the unboxing of my 2020 uh, Baseball Top Series 1 Hobby Box. And we're also going to open at the end the silver, the box topper, the Series 1 Hobby Exclusive for trading cards. Uh, we'll open that as well. Um, also, I think... I'm, no, I don't think I missed anything in the last video based on the comments. Uh, props to Trevor, who guessed that the box at the bottom of uh, the screen in video two was the box set for the complete first season of HBO's great series, Rome. A great show. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend it. All right, so let's get started here. On behalf of the Masasho and Muchacho, let's open up some packs. So we've got the six left. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the silver pack. So there we go. There's our empty box. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's a Saturday morning here in Ontario. Not much snow called for today, which is good because I don't really feel like shoveling again. All right, so let's get started. So there's Jeff, uh, Jeremy Jeffries for the Milwaukee Brewers. Carlos Santana. Do, 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 do. There we go. Your Alvarez rookie cup card. So that's another card. I think I've got all the rookies now or the... Big guys, uh, there we go. Clayton Kershaw, who is number 118. There's Pete Alonzo, League Leaders car. Merrill Kelly, Ken Giles, actually did very well for the Jays last year. We'll be curious to see if he stays on the roster. But uh, yeah, they're really doing a quick turnaround on that rebuild, so he might stick around. And there's Tyler Glass now. Really good trade for the uh, for the Tampa Bay Rays, getting him from P Pittsburgh. Hollywood Heroes still waiting to see if they're going to get Mookie Betts. There's Big Air and Big Hair. As a bald man, I'm jealous. That's a cool card. Austin Barnes at uh, Oracle Park, I think is what they call it now in San Francisco. Oh, there we go. Well, I hate this guy. I almost should rip it up. But uh, So this is a, from what I recall, top choice. From what I gather watching other people's videos, they take a, a player and they put it under a um, the whatever the design was for a specific tops year. So this one doesn't have the date, but uh, let's see on the back. So this is 2008 tops. And there we go. So this is what 2008 tops looked like. I did not collect back then. And I get wonderful Altuve. So uh, look for this to be on eBay soon. All right, Nick Marcakis still kicking it around with the Braves and Luke Voigt, which I'm shocked he didn't play. He hard, I think he had one at bat or one game in the, in the all in the uh, playoffs. Really bizarre now that players that play all season get totally overlooked. Like fourth and fifth starters become long men, and it's I don't know. It's weird what's happening to baseball now with all the. It's almost like too much advanced stats. There we go. So there's Ramon Laureano. That's his official card i no is that the one i got as the uh i'll have to check i'm pretty sure i have the short print of him there's his regular base card there's cole calhoun we got jesus lazardo i'm gonna say his name kikuchi hopefully has a bounce back year ah, there we go canadian rookie gold cup card mike soroka adam frazier Tommy Edmond, Amir Garrett, Eduardo Rodriguez, who's been become a staple fourth, fifth starter for the for the Red Sox these last few years. At uh, Ryan Presley, and let's see what we got here: uh, Rainbow Foil of Gregory Polanco, and another Mike Trout number one card. Again, for those of you who haven't seen the backs of the cards, look at all that red for league leaders. This guy's a beast. And then there's Brandon Woodruff. So, pack number three. Don't know who this guy is. Brian Abreu, rookie card. I noticed a lot of rookies uh, from, no-name rookies, at least in my opinion, from the Astros. There's Miguel Cabrera. Tyler Alexander, rookie card. Daniel Murphy. Josh Pagley, Fagley, Blake Parker, looks like we're going to have a 1985 insert, Shane Green, former Yankee, former Tiger, Jose Martinez, Tris, 
Trent Grisham, rookie card. Kurt Suzuki, Los Angeles Dodgers team card. And there we go, Ramon Laureano. I, I've got to say, this hobby box is the Ramon Laureano show. There we go. So that's a 1985 card, Nelson Cruz, and Johan Mankata. Definitely have to start a season, and next year's the show with the Oakland Athletics, since I get so many of their cards as their inserts. Bobby Bradley... Andrew Heaney, AJ Puck, there we go, Randall Grichuk, they gave him a big contract, not sure if there's much upside for him or it's kind of as good as it gets, Carson Kelly, oh there we go, nice card, I like how they have him in the, right, well now they're current unis, of Christian Yelich, Paul Goldschmidt, I got the gold, no, um, Rainbow foil of him. There's another. There's Christian Yelich's base card. Well, that's a really look, cool looking card. Travis Demerite, Demerit, rookie card. Pretty sick card for your rookie card. Johnny Cueto, team card for Cleveland. And we got another decades one. So we're getting a lot of two thousands, which I guess is my. Well, 90s and two thousands would be mine, and a bit of the eighties. But there we go. Pedro Martinez, former Expo. Pretty cool card. There's the back. Decades best. And we got Framil Reyes and David Dahl. Two packs left plus the silver pack. <laughs> Sandy Alcantara. Francisco Lindor. See how long he's still in Cleveland. Jose Barrios. Luke Jackson, J.P. Crawford, former Phillies prospect, Kevin Pillar. He actually finished pretty decent in San Fran last year. 260 and 21 home runs. Not bad. Not bad. Look at his numbers in Toronto, though. Well, it was only five games, but .63. Woof. Kyle Lewis in the nice retro unis. I kind of like, I wish, that's my new wish now, is that Seattle goes back to this. Kind of getting, uh, I like the more yellow and just the, that blue compared to their other colors, which were cool for a time, but I think now it's getting dated. Oakland Athletics team card, Robbie Grossman, Jalen Davis, Tommy Pham. Great pickup from St. Louis, I believe. There we go, Decades Best, 2010s. We got Mike Trout. That's a pretty cool card. Decades Best, so that's... The 2010s. The 20 teens. Adbert Alzole. It's a tongue twister. No comment. All right. Oh, and the Yankee Talkman. Again, I prefer, I'm more of a Clint Frazier guy who I don't even think is in. Well, he didn't. I'm trying to think of even you know he played for the Yankees last year. I'm thinking, of course, I don't think he's in this set. There's David Price, potential soon to be Dodger, Roman Quinn. I know. Okay, just a little tangent here. I know a lot of people were talking about this side. They they wished the name was at the bottom because especially when you're doing these videos, like your finger is always where the name is. So, real Bubba Starling, JD Martinez. Brad Keller, Anibal Sanchez, league leader Anthony Rendon, Andrew Chafin, Jorge Soler. Oh, my stack's, stack, or my stack's getting a bit big. Anthony Rendon card. Uh, what's the insert? No insert. Another dud pack, I think. Or is this something? Ah, another dud. That's a great way to finish it, Tops. Much appreciated. I'm sure I missed something. There's Mikel Baez and Roberto Asuna. Just checking some of these. Yeah, I think that's a dud pack again. So that's it. Uh, I don't know. So for I liked my hit, which was a Don Mattingly um, 
swatch 1985 uh, piece of his uniform card. That was pretty cool. So for me, like it's part of my PC, it's not really worth anything. So the box, there's no, the value is not, wasn't there for me. Uh, got some tr trout inserts. Um, I like the design. I like the base. I got most of the rookies, which you're probably going to get. Uh, a lot of doubles. But uh, will I buy another hobby box of this? Uh, I don't know. I nah, maybe, might do some retail, see what the retail inserts are. But definitely don't think I'll get another box. But you never know. I've been known to go back on my word for that. There's Aquino. Juan Soto. There's a good guy to have. Bryce Harper. And... Francisco Lindor, so no autographs, no fancy, um, fancy, uh, what do they call these? They're not rainbow packs, series one hobby exclusive packs, but decent players, but they're all, uh, the 1995, 85 inserts, so usually they, they put some of the bigger guys in there. Where did I put the, okay, just, oh, there we go. So just a recap of the cards we got, make sure I don't, yeah, there we go. So I opened up six packs. I've got five inserts. We've got the Mike Trout. We've got the Pedro Martinez. I really like this insert set. It's kind of cool. Definitely that's my favorite, though, is the 1985. And there's I'm not really crazy about this because we already have this. Why do we need to have this? I prefer what they did, like the iconic card reprint, but I guess they've done that for enough years that you have Derek Jeter's rookie card with an iconic card reprint by now. So anyways, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the videos, the four videos that I put up for the 2020 Series 1. Hope everyone else enjoyed. Um, if you opened up packs or hobby boxes, let me know in the comments what you got. Um, comment, subscribe. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much for watch watching this. On behalf of the Mustachioed Muchacho, we'll catch you in next video when I get my, my hands on some of this retail because I think I'm going to probably avoid... Um, another hobby box or hobby jumbo unless uh, I do well at the horse race. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Catch you next video.